All right. This is the last class in your mini class. It's been so wonderful to share pieces of my heart with you. I hope that you've gotten to know me a little bit better. And if you feel called to work with me privately, please make an appointment below for your next step. And we'll decide which program is perfectly matched for you, whether it's private coaching or a group program that I have for you to get the most results and the most freedom. And bring the pieces of your life back together and transform your own trauma. All right, so we're going to talk about a, um, a debilitating part of, of trauma, and that is coping with the aftermath, that is coping with the flashbacks, with the PTSD. And these are the things that when you went through the trauma, the conscious mind was like, nope, can't deal. The subconscious mind is like, nope, don't have any place to put this, no way to make a meaning and make sense out of this, and boom, is trapped in your steel door of your unconscious mind. And what happens is we can either go through hypnotherapy or therapies um, to trigger this, and that's sometimes called flashbacks, or things would happen. Uh, for instance, I had abuse happen to me in when I was cleaning or cleaning the kitchen. Um, that was pretty much the start of a lot of abuse. And so when I'm in the kitchen, if somebody walks up behind me and just stands there, um, I react. And it used to be really bad. I used to like flinch and react and punch and like all this stuff. And it was uncontrollable, right? I, I didn't want to do that. It was humiliating. It was, it was horrible. Um, and even though I understood why it happened to a certain point, because I had gone through um, you know, my own therapy through my 20s from 13 to 20 and, and then rebirthing and hypnotherapies and all the stuff and all my classes and all my courses and all this study to, to both understand how to put the pieces back together for myself, but also teach it, right? Like I went full force. I'm still going full force as I, as I venture into my doctorate program. And so it's like, wow, how does, how does this happen? Why can't I shift this? Why am I still reacting? Even though there's the why had been formed. Well, it was because my unconscious brain had it in, in flux. So when I was triggered, I would react physically. Now this even happened to me a few days ago. So I'm going to just be vulnerable. I was cutting up dinner and my daughter who is 14 came up really quietly and snuck up behind me and was standing there. And when I caught her through the glimpse of my eyes, she was standing in that personal space that I have. I freaked out and turned around and I started crying. And why I started crying is because I know now that in order to release that um, triggered emotion, I have to be able to face it and walk through it. So you have to walk through the emotion. Now that's a different course. You can take the mini course on emotional freedom and raising your vibe after trauma, feeling better, right? But, um, but you have to be able to face that. And sometimes those emotions aren't so pretty and they don't necessarily feel good. Um, but oftentimes they're also triggered with some sort of belief. So the belief might be, um, it's unsafe to be in the kitchen, and therefore, I don't cook that much, right? Um, but there's something there. So to get over PTSD, we have to be able to face the emotion, and through that facing, the belief system, the conclusion that you come up with in your unconscious mind will come forward. And that is what you can tap on. That is what you can shift. That's what you can bring into perspective through reparenting. And we get into reparenting techniques and meditation techniques where you go in and you rebirth, you reparent yourself and gain freedom that way. To safely go through and heal PTSD and or eliminate flashbacks with, I've had many that I've eliminated. And my clients tell me all the time of different stories of things that they can face now, whether it's um, freedom to express themselves in bed, hate, um, freedom to feel that again, 
freedom to understand why they have certain thoughts and forgive themselves and walk into that freedom. Um, freedom from um, like having reactions, like not being able to ki be kissed on the neck or, or and, and then being able to open that and trust that without that, that um, phantom sensation, right? That is so very real and happens with us with PTSD. So how to get over it is to walk through the feeling. And that, again, is a different segment. It would take too long. But also allow the memories to come up in a really safe container. And to do that, hiring somebody that can create that safe container for your unconscious mind to pull up the memory. So um, like I do hypnotherapy work and deep hugs work, which is a meditation practice that I learned at an early age that has really transformed hundreds of lives um, that we go through in the soul segment. But we go into the space where it's your space and then you get to reclaim your power. You get to rebirth yourself. You get to redo the scenario. So not only does it retrain the subconscious mind, but it retrains the unconscious mind not to be triggered anymore. And the phantom sensations go away. The need for your body to heal goes away because all PTSD is, is it's a way, it's something for you to finally heal. It is your coping mechanism that couldn't cope in the moment of trauma. That's the definition of trauma is inability to cope. It's going, oh, I trust you enough now to cope with this. And it's like a drip feed of the trauma resurfacing so you can cope with it effectively and get rid of it. So PTSD is a huge blessing. That might be a change of perspective for you. And to get through it, it's about creating that safe, safe container. Now, the only advice that I have with it for you is to know that it's your unconscious mind literally trusting you to cope with it. Now you have the ability. Now you have the the awareness, the functions, the tools to cope with this. And when you do cope with it, it does go away. You have freedom from PTSD. When you shove it back down there and deny it, unfortunately, it's going to continue coming up. When you medicate it, unfortunately, it's going to continue coming up. So getting out there and having the courage to find a practitioner, a coach, a worker, a counselor, me, to walk you through safe containers to reprogram and and bring up unconscious memory so you can let it pass through your subconscious mind and really deal with it consciously in the moment is going to give you freedom and in order to do that you have to be courageous enough to face your feelings and walk through that tunnel of vibration and feeling. Um, face what happens, whatever memory does come up and surface, knowing, knowing without a doubt that you already survived. That's the most important part. Even if you do this on your own, you already survived. You already survived. You did it. You survived. You were enough. And you overcame. So in order to really reprogram yourself to get through the PTSD it, and, and find new ways of being so you don't reprogram it or you don't recycle it, what is really important is great habits, is great habits. And not only mindset habits, but habits to take care of your temple, your physical body, habits to take care and cope with with your emotions and how to walk through good emotions and bad emotions alike and feel confident in yourself when looking at devastation and shame and guilt, as well as looking at elation and, and, and abundance and, and purity and light, right? Um, how to connect with your soul and your intuition and your knowingness and your wholeness how to take all of this out into relationship and really show up confidently knowing who you are so you're not under siege from other people and other people's opinions of you and the shoulds in the world. And also really, really confidently 
doing what you know you're here to do in a way that is fulfilling and satisfying and abundant in your life. And that um, creating those habits in your life are going to create a confidence that says, I'm safe to cope with this. I'm an adult in this. I, I can be free of this. And as you let go of the old, you are already taking in the new and retraining yourself to live a fulfilled life, um, a healthy life, a happy life. And because this is so important, I put together a program. It's not a program, actually. It's a support system. It's a love system. It's a love you letters. We have over a year's worth working um, now in the system. We're going to have more coming up. So this is a program that you can use for years through the rest of your life. It is um, just really, it's from my heart. These are habits that take 10 minutes or less that I email you each and every day that will help you to develop habits that you love. Now, some of the habits you might go, oh, I tried that and I didn't like that at all. Others you'll start adopting into your life as personal care habits that will literally change how you live every aspect of your life. And the other thing is these letters are going to prompt you to do the self-care, the self-evaluation, to develop the self-trust that is required for you to live a life of freedom. And so I want to offer you that for a dollar to try it out, and then it's only $14.97 per month. So you also get access to me, to a group we have on Facebook that is supporting one another, as well as um, special bonuses and master classes within your own university. You get your, your sign in there. And I want to invite you to that. You can register for the You Matter Club right below. And this is going to bring you the habits to calculate and create the life that you desire, the holistic life that you desire and that you require beyond survival, beyond PTSD, and give you the tools and mechanisms to cope with it. Right, so this is step one, and um, if you choose to work with me privately, this comes with your package. This is one of the bonuses that I have. So if you're thinking about working with me privately and you're ready to take that leap, um, definitely sign up for the free week and the bonus for a buck. And then once you start your program, I'm going to waive those fees for you, and um, and then it'll be you and me. So you can also go ahead and schedule your next step with me. And we'll go in and we'll decide if a group program or a private coaching program is for you. And I'll learn more about you personally. Because recovering from trauma is a very personal journey. And it's not someplace that you have to be stuck. Survival is not where you're supposed to be. You're here to thrive. You are whole. And um, you are enough. So I can't wait to talk to you. And I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for enjoying and I hope that you got a lot from this mini course and talk to you later.